So now that you've licensed the software, you're going to want to insert your settings to the software to tell it what you want it to do. First thing you'll do is insert your email and password or phone and password and click save. This way the software saves your settings and it will automatically pull in your login details for you. Click on save, it tells you it's been saved. Now, if you've got the standard edition, you won't be able to bump posts. You'll only be able to make posts. You must give it a project name and your post details. You can optionally select a image to use in your post and it'll do this first before it posts in your message. Load in your groups that you want to make posts to and to first off get your groups, click on export. This is going to log in, scroll all of your groups, save it name, comma, group URL to a document that you... So if I click on export groups, this is going to pop up and it asks me to select a save to location. In this instance, I'm going to save it to the same folder and I'll say mygroups.csv. Click save and the software will then go into your groups and save all of it to this file. You can then take that list and create your own text file to load in right here. By doing so, you can target the groups only that you want to post in. Now the good thing is, is that if you do have standard and you decide to upgrade to the pro later to be able to bump those posts, all you simply have to do is take the new software and replace the exe inside your folder. All of your post data previously used in standard will automatically be able to be brought up underneath the pro bump settings. Clicking on pro bump settings this is where all the great information can be found. You can auto delete a bump post after you've made it and basically what this will do is it will be hidden that you have just bumped your post to bring it to the top of the group feed. Load a project. When you click this it's going to bring up a list of project names from previously made posts. You select that project name so it can load the post from all the groups that you've posted to underneath that project name and will then begin to use the bump settings with the message that you select to bump all of your group posts. You can delete a project by clicking this button here, selecting the project name, and it will delete all posts made under that project name. The post placement threshold. This is, for instance, if your post, if you set this to 10, it's going to look for your link in the top 10 posts of the group. Okay, so it must be within there to not bump, but in order to bump, it would have had to have been in a placement higher than the number that you put here. If you want to delay before looking for bumping, for instance, if I just made posts six hours ago and I'm running the bumping settings, I'd say, okay, well, if the post is older than six hours, then go ahead and try to bump. It will automatically skip it if it does not fall within this time range. It has to be older than the time that you set here in order for it to bump it. This way we're not spamming it, this way we're not hitting it too hard and, and stuff like that. So those are the bump settings. If you have standard, this will just give you a message in this area that you must go and upgrade your license. Min and max wait time. This is the min and max wait time in seconds between each post or bump. So I recommend this for a minimum of say one minute and a maximum say three minutes. You can adjust this as you like. These are just recommendations from us. If you wish to switch the themes, all you do is you click this and it's going to tell you please save your information and restart the program. Start, pause, and stop. After you've selected and set all your settings, hit start. It'll give you little status readings down here. It does use Chrome on your computer, so please make sure that you've got an updated Chrome browser on your computer. 
and it will make it everything look as natural as it possibly can, just as if a real human was posting. You can pause or stop the program at any time. If you stop it and start again, it will start from the beginning of the list. So please keep this in mind that if you stop mid-range in a project and go to start it again, it's going to repost to the groups it already posted to because it does not keep track of that currently. We do have it on our project list to add this functionality to pick up where it left off. To show you the theme here, I'm going to go ahead and close this so I can reopen it. And you can see the lighter color theme that we have available for the software as well. There we are. So you see we've got both a dark and a light theme for you to choose from, and it's just switchable by the theme here. Thank you. We look forward to hearing back from you and your feedback on the software, and thank you very much.